Hi Pisces, it's Elle here to do your mid-June 2018 reading. So we've got the past, present, future for love, career and finance, additional cards of support. Alright, so let's get started. The bottom of the deck for love is the Four of Swords. So someone may, maybe separation here, maybe with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You're healing from a very turbulent time, the Three of Swords, maybe from finding out you were in a third party situation, there was infidelity, or just the need to practice caution in your relationship. You also may be in prayer, meditation about a certain particular someone or a situation or relationship, okay? Past, Seven of Swords, Sun, Four of Cups, yeah, um, the pat you, once again, Four of Swords, bottom of the deck you're healing from maybe secrets and lies being revealed with the sun card here four of cups you also may be thinking about an opportunity that you passed up or you may think this is a missed opportunity or you may still be focused on this third party situation that you were put in not seeing that maybe it's a blessing in disguise the universe has something better for you or take the cup of love for yourself you know Could be with a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, like yourself. Or maybe a, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius found out your infidelity. All right, presently we have the Empress, the Ace of Wands, Seven of Wands, and the Emperor. Ooh, this is heavy. Presently you have a situation, Pisces, that where you guys are basically the perfect quote unquote perfect match for each other the emperor and the empress you guys are husband and wife spiritually we've got the seven of wands and the emperor some of you are trying to maintain yourself being a bit defensive in regards to your quote unquote better half or your twin flame or the spiritual union there's a lot of chemistry, attraction, love, passion that sits between you two. You two may be very sexually attracted to each other. You two may be very um, beautiful, you know, outwardly beautiful, attractive, not just to each other, but to other people. Both of you might be in a relationship. You might be married, Pisces. The other person might be married or partnered. Moving forward, the Page of Pentacles, the King of Swords, Justice. Looks like for Pisces, um, stability is elsewhere. You want to take your Pentacle and go elsewhere. Some of you will be taking your pinnacle and going elsewhere going away from the king of swords gemini libra aquarius typically aquarius or libra could be gemini um going to the justice of peace for some of you it might be that you might be deciding to get married you want to offer something stable to a pisces i mean or vice versa you want to offer something stable to Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or vice versa. They want to offer something stable to you. Or some of you, you want to start over. Some of you are in the early stages of going to divorce a lawyer, divorce court, drawing up papers, trying to get things together. Or maybe this Aquarius, Gemini, Libra person is doing that. Career and finance. Three of Swords, Five of Hearts, Three of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. Okay, so. And then the Ten of <clears throat> the ten of Hearts crowns the entire read. This is the happy home, the family life, the mother, father. Just the, the highest level of happiness here. Um. You may be breaking that up. There may be divorce and separation here. Due to an unfaithful spouse. A love affair not approved of. I mean. This is not career and finance. It can't be. Or maybe you're separating from uh, a job. You know it's bittersweet. You're hesitating before actually leaving the job. 
or you're hesitating before leaving a love relationship. Um, you know that there'll be legalities and things that you need to tie up in the midst of leaving a certain situation. Could be job, could be um, relationship. It also may be just third party. There's someone else here. Um, you may be sneaking, doing this behind the back of um, your partner or vice versa. Seven of Swords, someone, the loss of friendship, loss of uh, burden to carry. You can lay down the burden that is maybe an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So Pisces, it looks like there's divorce, there's separation, there's lies, there's deceit, there's someone trying to sneak away, maybe because there's a third party. Someone's trying to sneak away from maybe an air sign. Let's go into the cards, additional cards of support. Family changes. This could be someone exiting, entering the home, buying a new home, moving out of the home, moving, buying a new home. Like, I, I think I just said that. Um, a baby coming into, someone having a baby, adoption, adoption of a pet. I mean, family changes. It just ranges. So, if you know that. And at the bottom of this deck is healing from the past. Yeah. You need to heal from whatever has come out for you. Spiritual growth. Might have to rely heavily on your spirituality now. So that you can grow spiritually. Or this might just have been a situation where you had to grow from. You had to go through it so that you can find spiritual growth. Um body changes a lot of people have been getting this of course it's the summer spring summer months and uh, everybody's taking note of how their body is or, or you could be taking note of how your body is internally um if their body changes listen to your body when the body talks listen right relationship dynamics uh virgo just got this <clears throat> The dynamics of a particular relationship have been altered, have been changed due to you being more aware of how you feel in this situation. Maybe because you have grown either spiritually or emotionally. Also, someone else could have entered the relationship. The dynamic of this relationship changing and altering this relationship. Um, we've got the Empress and the Emperor here, you know. Okay. So, um, if this resonated with you, uh, request a personal reading. We've got the $10 one question reading. Um, also, take advantage of the $20 two question reading. Um, check out the website to see what best works for you. It's all below. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for the like, share, comments, subscriptions. Uh, remember to stay in prayer. You know, when in doubt, pray. I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Head on over to Patreon where I will clarify these cards, okay? We can get some clarity, okay? Alright, take care guys.